Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take iTunes Music um, and put it into Windows Movie Maker. So, right here I'm on iTunes and I've already selected a song. So to turn it into an MP3, you want to make sure you've selected Music right here. And then you go up top, click Edit, click on Preferences, and then up here it should have a little box that says general. Down here you want to click on the thing that says import settings. And it should say AAC encoder. Whoops. It should say AAC encoder. AAC is just the Apple format. Instead of playing MP3s, an iPod plays AAC. It's, it's a little bit better quality music. And you want to go down here and make sure you've selected MP3 encoder. And after you've done that, um, high quality, 160 kbps, that's okay, that's that's probably what you want to do with it. Just click OK, let me make sure it's still on that. Um, okay, and it is, hold on a second. Alright, that's good. So after you've done that, you want to go to your song, and you want to right click it and select create mp3 version now I've already created an mp3 version and depending on how fast your processor is it could take 30 seconds to 5 minutes to create an mp3 version and after you've created the mp3 version you select it you right click on it and you click show in Windows Explorer A little box should show up and it already has highlighted the mp3 version and to make it easier, I would just select um, cut. I would just right click it, click cut, and then put it into music. Or if you use MP, or if you use XP, click my music. And then I'm just gonna paste it. All right. After I've done that, um, if I were you, I would really, I would delete the MP3 version so you don't get it confusing whenever um, you plug in your iPod again. And then I would go back. And after you do all this stuff, firstly, um, I would go back onto preferences and change it back to AAC encoder because iTunes uh, store doesn't download MP3s. All right. After you've done that, I'm gonna go down to and open up Windows Movie Maker. Go down to the Start button and click on Windows Movie Maker. And then, let me delete that real quick. And then you just click on import audio or music, and it should show up. And it's right there, just click on import. And there it is. That's all there is to it. Thanks.